my early years really opened me to a lot of things that have enriched my my work, ritual, metaphysical reality, beauty and pain mixed together. My life has been very complex, and I think that complexity uh, has been what's been most influential in my work, the fact that I've had, you know, lived in different cities and that I've had different careers and that I've been on a very, you know, dynamic kind of journey in a way that I never pre-saw or that I never really set out to do. I think it wasn't until I was in my early 20s that I really started to have a vision of myself in photography. When I was younger, I was very much influenced by biography and by autobiography. I spent a great deal of time alone as a child and on through my through now actually to be to be honest. And early on, I read so much biography and autobiography that I felt I had these imaginary friends and they were my role models and they inspired me. I don't intellectualize uh, a lot about my work when I'm doing it. I can talk about it after I've done it. But what I find is if, when I finish a project, I feel very emptied out and I don't feel as if I'm ever going to have something, uh, some new body of work that that matches it or that, that I'm pleased with. And then slowly, by just working, I have one day where I do something that really like jolts me and where I, I have a sense like this is it. I'm, I'm sailing into a new arena. Um, and I have that so strongly when I do it. But it's a complete mystery where it comes from. But it does appear through working. And it's just a moment of an epiphany of sorts of, of realization. And then I take that and then I try to expand it. I've only had a few real dead ends. And those all, if I'm really honest about it, came from trying to intellectually decide maybe a next direction. All the really wonderful transitions happened completely through some kind of grace or internal mechanism that I'm, that's not related to, to a thought process per se. Transformations is probably my favorite book, and I think that's because the work in it really flowed from me the most freely. It was the most effortless kind of creation and period of creation for me. All the images of the, you know, the wings that have been a constant theme in my work, which are, are really about transcendence and the idea of mirroring, which has sort of obsessed me all my life, probably because my mother was an identical twin in this this reflection, this distortion, this other part of you. Skin has always been a major theme in my work, and I've always been fascinated by the life cycle and the way skin metamorphoses over time and is beautiful at all stages from birth to very old age, and also the way light transforms skin, the way it washes over it and, and transmutes it. The way people of different body types, from very thin to very heavy, have their own quality of skin and their own quality of fascination. I think the thing that the critics have said most often about me is that there's a strange melange between uh, sensuality and spirituality in my work, and I think that's very true, and I think that comes from working with, with the body and with my obsession and fascination with the body. I guess my deep personal desire for tr transcendence goes into the work, and there's some, kind of, there's some kind of melding of those two obsessions of bodies and souls and transmuting pure physicality into some kind of alchemic gold, in a way, which is the photograph. I started working with the nude when I first started doing self-portraits. I never consciously decided that I was going to work with nudes. For me, I just was drawn to it, and I think it is because 
I, I want to see everything stripped away. I want to pare things down to their elemental forms. I want to penetrate below the surface. I want to distill emotional essences. And how can you do that with clothes on? I was attracted to the layering, which the veil, the use of fabrics gave me. So it wasn't actually a prop for me. It was actually a metaphoric sign for the fact that I hadn't stripped something away. It was, there was still a layer on top of that, that mystery. I hadn't opened it completely. Maybe there isn't a, a state of being where you're opened like that permanently. Maybe it, it is just those flashes of insight that you have from time to time. I don't know, but it's, it's a fascinating concept. One image in Illuminations, the woman with the veil over her, to me when I looked at it, it was like looking into the mystery of what I think is the mystery of being a female. A lot of that involves the area of our heart and our womb and our sexuality and our sensuality. And somehow when I looked at that picture, it it made me feel like I saw that mystery all at one time. I think that I'm always looking for the magic key that will open the mystery of another person to me and to, to become a visual image. I know that when I'm working and I start seeing something through the lens that's exciting, I know it, I'm aware of it right at that moment of that opening, and it's such a high. It is, that is the high that, that most sustains my creative life, and it's something you can't order into being. You can't walk into the studio and say, today I'm going to have this experience, this magical kind of um, moment. You can only prepare the ingredients and forget about everything. It's not ego saying I'm very satisfied with who I am, but it's an inner kind of uh, realization that I have now of, of really being grateful on one level for the life I've had, although it's been painful um, at, at many points. I feel that uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm pleased. I, I can say that in, in a deep sense with a lot of the things that, that I've done, and um, that's a very good feeling.